All right, here we go, fellas. Let's do a little quick video. Well, not, it's not going to be a quick video. I'm drinking all my coffee. Just got some stuff in today from uh, Ready to Fly Quads. And that's who they are, Ready to Fly Quads. Guys, I'm telling you, they have some awesome prices. I mean, you can't beat their stuff. Really, you can't beat their stuff. Uh, 20 amp ESCs that I got here from Ready to Fly Quads a while back. I'm trying to decide um, if I want to put them on the QAV 250 because I'm just to get all my quads back up and going again since I didn't got. I, I, I'm not going to lie, guys, since I got the. the Vortex 285, I've been kind of, uh, just kind of threw the QAV aside, man, and the ZMR aside, but I was still flying the ZMR every once in a while, because you guys can see I had upgraded that to the 2208 Lumineer Motors, 2000 KVs, and the Rotor Geek 30 amp ESE, so you talking about a beast of a quad, guys, I mean, goodness gracious, that's why I love the ZMR, ZMR 250. But like I say, one side since I had the uh, Vortexes guys, I kind of put these two guys off to the side and haven't been flying them. <clears throat> Just kind of been mistreating them and stuff. So ordered a bunch of stuff up last week. Uh, ordered another little small quad. Uh, finally got my Raju Hex going up and going over there. Waiting on another motor for my ZMR 160 build uh, kit to finish that off because one of the motors went bad on that. So. Waiting on the extra parts for that, and I ordered another Naze 32 for that. So I ended up forgot I ended up ordering a Naze 32 here, and a all-in-one right here, guys. And this is basically what I have on my Raju Hex. This is a basically a Naze 32 with PDB OSD um, LEDs. All that stuff built in one, guys. I mean, it's like a five-in-one unit almost. And this is basically what I'm running on my uh, Raju Hex. If you don't want to run a PDB board, uh, a regular PDB board, then use one of them. You can just use that bad boy because that's what I'm running on my Raju Hex. I'm running a regular PDB, the, the Maytech. And I'm running this uh, <clears throat> Ready to Fly Quads uh, Flip 32 all-in-one. So, that's what I'm running on the uh, Raju Hex. But like I say, this is what I just got in. Got some more shrink tube in, which I need so I can shrink tube the arms. And plus, I got a little small LED RGB, which I can program to put on the back of the Raju. Because I had the other ones that I had for the ZMR that I had on the back of the legs for that. I had an extra one I put on there. It was a little too big for it. And like I said, I go to the little shrink tubing I got for it to go on the arms, which is excellent that I needed. <clears throat> but yeah, here go the uh, Flip 32. As you can see, it shows you how to uh, wire everything up where everything goes and stuff. So, I mean, it's not that hard to, t to, to figure it out. And you can see where it tells you which is what right here, which input is which. So, I mean, it's a pretty cool little board. I love it. But like I say, I'm trying to decide if I want to... Um, the 1806 motors, guys, on the QAV has been excellent. I didn't had no problems with them. 1806, 2300 KV motors. I love them. I mean, I haven't had any problems with them at all. But as you guys can tell... I mean, everything I get, I, I've been changing the motors up on. This is the only one I haven't changed motors on. But got my Vortex 250 Pro in, and I took the motors off of that, which is the 250 motors here. And I <clears throat> ended up putting Exnova's 2206, 2300 KVs on there. So I'm trying to decide if I want to put these 2300 uh, Vortex motors, 2300 KV motors on this QAV. Oh man, if I do, it's going to be a beast. But it's already a beast of flying, uh, fly fast. And plus, I got this e machine uh, VTX combo. Come with the VTX and the camera, which is pretty cool. Just plugs into your balance port. And I think I might end up using it on that. 
like like I say, I had took my uh, fat shark stuff off of it and uh, just got away with fat shark and just been going with you bad ESE. I mean uh, VTXs and stuff like that. So still got the old Sony cam on there, TVL, but uh, that's kind of what it is right there, guys, and kind of tells you how to uh, set your all-in-one up right there of what to do and everything which is pretty cool and simple <clears throat> easy to kind of figure out you see right there this is where your your VTX goes in right here plugs in right there the camera plugs in right there those are your dip switches them two dip switches right here on the end you can see it says for flight controller and them ones in the middle is flight controller and OSD and the two on the end is for your OSD so that's how you up, update your OSD by uh, putting those dip switches down. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and quit talking, guys. Because like I said, I was going to use this all-in-one, put it on the QAV 250. But as you guys know, the QAV already has a power distribution board already. But <clears throat> there's no but about it. I love the way that is. So, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it or if I want to order the other one. And if I wanted to do that, then I might as well just use that right there. So, but I kind of like it like it is now, guys. I'm like I said, this is an old messed up uh, Flip 32. We'll take that off, put this new one right here on, get it soldered up, and get it ready to go. Pins on it, and uh, have that bad boy up and going. <clears throat> like I say, the Vortex 285. Still waiting on the ESCs for that. Got to get three more ESCs. I'm trying to decide if I want to order batteries for the Maraju or order my ESCs, which I'm in no hurry, guys, as you guys can see. So thanks for watching and all the support.